Let's be honest, fishing is fun, but fishing is more fun when you're actually catching fish. In this week's video, we head down to one of the greatest fishing spots we have ever fished for an awesome weekend of back-to-back -back action and take home a ton of fish, so let's go. Another shad. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. We're currently out here at the Columbia River, right next to pretty much the uh, Bonneville Dam right behind me. Today, the plan is to catch as much shad as we can. American shad are currently going up the river and they're running in tens of thousands uh, right now, going through the fish ladder and onto the other side of the Bonneville Dam. There's already quite a bit of people down by the river fishing. For this trip, we actually rented a Ford F-150. We've got uh, another uh, kid with us. Uh, it's uh, Sean's friend. And we've got quite a bit of stuff for this three-day camping trip. Definitely not sponsored by Ford. <laughs> we wish though. We're having so much fun just having all this space right here. We've got two coolers in the back and we obviously have our camping gear. We've already set up camp uh, last night, got here yesterday afternoon. Got these two coolers that we're gonna try to go ahead and fill up between today and tomorrow. Let's head on out. So what do you think about the space in this truck? I actually like it because it's really uh, a lot of space and comfortable. I wish to have one. <laughs> All right, so I think that's the cue that I need to go get a truck at some point. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressed with the miles per gallon that we're getting on this truck. Peter says 22 miles per gallon. I'm not exactly sure if that's accurate. And it's actually pretty warm today. It's about 70 degrees. Uh, we've got a light breeze, looking like it's gonna be an awesome day of fishing. There's already a few folks uh, catching shad left and right down there. We're gonna go ahead and find out, go ahead and get set up. Fishing setup for American shad is pretty easy. All you need is a spinning reel, a uh, spinning rod or you can also go for a bait caster which I usually use and all you need are pretty much these small jigs look at that so this one I think is a 1 8 or 1 16th I couldn't remember um, you can also use the bigger ones right there look at that and uh, some kind of weights um, so it really depends on how fast the current is going down a river uh, we typically use about half half an ounce to about an ounce depending on how fast the current is. Let's go ahead and head down the river. We don't want to forget the Home Depot bucket. This is where all the shad are going. Heading up with my rod with my injured hand. I cut my hand a few days ago. I ended up went to the hospital to um, to stitch it. Three stitches right now. Fishing must go on. This is the fishing spot right here. Already quite a bit of folks behind me. There's quite a bit of folks down the river as well. That's the Bonneville Dam. There's definitely a lot of uh, trees and small growth around here. It's gonna be pretty interesting once we catch fish, if we can even land them. Might get stuck, find out. Sean's on a fish on. You see it? This might be a bigger shot. I see it. Over here. I'm feeling it's gonna get off. You're gonna get it, buddy. He ate it. Oh, right, there you go. Look at that. First fish. That's a fish. You too? I think you're, you got a fish on. I'm gonna let him uh, gonna slide. That's a nice one. Ah! All right. Put this thing away real quick. Make a ring. Good job, bud. That was awesome. Eduardo caught fish and landed it. This fishery is amazing. That's a good size, buddy. They're easier to catch, or they're easier to uh, cook. Look at that. <laughs> That's nice. He's back fishing. Eduardo's turn. Case already on a fish over there. There's a lot of fish. Sean's on a fish on yet again. Look at that. How many fish you got so far, bud? Three. Three. Wow. Nice. Finally got a fish on. Case trying to sabotage my first fish. See if I can land this guy. 
There you go. This is pretty much what you would catch out here. Shad. And they go up the river, the Columbia River, by tens of thousands. And sometimes there's a point where they would actually go through, go up here in hundreds of thousands. And there's a bunch of them out here at the Columbia River. These are so much fun. There's a bunch of them. And there's a lot of them that are chilling out here. Get her, get her, get her. Yeah. Nice. This guy. Another shad. This is Shad. Already forgot how many. <laughs> Looking around you, if you guys can see a bunch of stuff like this, I recommend just setting them aside, take them back with you, so we can keep our fisheries open and healthy for the next generations to come. Ooh, that was a jumper. Uh, it's a big one. Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead um, cleaning the fish over here. I think I came prepared today. I have my gloves, I have my knife, and the bucket. <laughs> Home Depot bucket. This fish has a lot of big scales. You can cook them with the scales on, or you can just do what uh, Kay's doing, descaling the fish. So we've been out here for uh, about several hours now, but fishing here is so awesome right now. So far, I think we've caught about 30, 35 ish or so. Today has been one of the most awesome fishing out here at the Columbia River for shad. A bunch of shad right there. And case on a fish on right now. Ooh, look at that. Came off this entire area right here is the Bonneville Dam that's the Oregon side right there still a lot of people fishing on the other side you good it's heavy Just got back to the camp. We've got a shad right here. Plan is to throw that on a grill. Basically all we did was put salt and then we're just gonna put it on the grill for a little bit and that's gonna be what's for dinner tonight. I'm gonna go ahead and fry this fish and I'm gonna season it with soy sauce and lemon or lime. get fire. <laughs> got our oil fired up. Just gonna put it on the can right here. <laughs> like the Ooh, look at that. Okay, it's checking the grill. Looks like it's doing pretty good. Uh, this is definitely a longer a little bit longer process just because the shad is a little bit bigger. Let's flip it. And of course we've got some uh, beverage tonight. 
going for some Guinness, of course, it's in a can, so it's not gonna be as good as the poured over. Got the hard lemonade set. Camping won't be complete without adult beverages. Cheers. Cheers. Kay made some homemade salsa, tomatoes, onion, uh, definitely not parsley, cilantro, green onions. Fish is almost done. Quick technique, if you guys are camping and you've got a ton of leftover rice, you can always wrap them up with foil and put them on the grill so you can heat them up. Got everything on the dining table. Look at that. Very tasty. Look at that meat. Please be careful with the bones because there's definitely a ton of bones. Next, I'm gonna try the grill. Very bony, very tasty though. Camp made salsa. out here at Beacon Rock State Park. We're just getting prepared for the day. It's our second day of camping out here. We're gonna go ahead and have some breakfast and then head on back out to the fishing spot. Yesterday was such an amazing day fishing. We caught a ton of fish. We ended up catching about close to 50 shad yesterday. Just got to the fishing spot so there's definitely a lot of people right behind us so that's the dam right there and everybody's lined up along the bank of the columbia river we're gonna go ahead and set up first today we're just gonna go ahead and use the same setup we're gonna be using a jig head onto uh, an eight pound test line and that's all we're using be using this red jig head. I believe this is about an eighth of an ounce. Let's go fishing. Okay, just found one spot here, but it's definitely a combat fishing. Hopefully, Kay catches a shot here in a little bit. Fish on. First cast. And whenever it gets to the bank like this, I always lose it. Awesome, landed it. Yep, first cast. <laughs> Kay and I are just uh, swapping back and forth. We only got one spot. We just want to be uh, respectful of the folks that are fishing right next to us. Nice. Oh, that's a big one. It's a big chat. <laughs> It's pulling line. There you go. Ooh, that's... a big one. There you go. I feel like they're, I don't know, they feel, they feel kind of strong today. Where is it? Mm. 
jump in here, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> nice. It is the next day here in Washington. Yesterday we ended up catching how many? 50. 50 shads. And then the other day, the first day we went fishing, we ended up catching uh, also 47. 47. So close to about 100. We actually have a bunch of friends as well that want to go uh, have uh, some shad in their freezers. So we're kind of sort of like doing that for them as well, but also makes us go out and uh, catch some fish out here at the Columbia River. This campground is at the Beacon Rock State Park. This place is actually pretty amazing. They do have a couple of hikes around here. They also have the actual Beacon Rock where uh, yesterday we saw some folks rock climbing and also doing some hiking and everything. And this is actually our first time uh, renting a truck. We've got a Ford F-150 back here. We ended up filling up the back still. Look at that. So the entire bed is full of stuff. Doesn't matter how big our rig is for our camping and fishing trips, we're gonna fill it up with a bunch of stuff. <laughs> the bigger the space is, the more stuff you're gonna bring. It is extremely windy right now, but we are currently out here by the dam. Look at that. So that's the Bonneville Dam right there. And we're just kind of checking out the side. There's a bunch of people right now just uh, fishing for shad. A lot of people are catching fish. Man, it's such an amazing day. And just like that, Kay's already down, uh, down there fishing. I guess we're aiming for 100 shad this weekend. Kay's on her first fish out here. Hopefully it doesn't come off. Oh, it actually did come off. Look at that. <laughs> 98. Oh, 98 shad. Look at that. <laughs> this river is so awesome. A ton of fish going up this river. You can catch uh, salmon here, shad. There's also sturgeon. Sturgeon, I don't think they are actually going through the dam because the fish ladder is quite small. But there's definitely a ton of uh, fish just going up the river to go spawn. Once uh, somebody catches, everybody catches. A minute ago, one person caught one and then everybody was hooked up. Just so much fun out here fishing. 100 fish, right? <laughs> Look at that. It's a jumper. Where's he going? So that is officially Ian Remos, uh, 100 fish, actually case 100 fish. <laughs> oh, yeah. 